Hey, a friend, Chris here from whitelogicperrules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. Today, I wanna show you how to adapt the tempo of your entire project. Everything in the project from audio, MIDI, drummer, pattern, the entire contents to any tempo you need the project to be. So let's assume that you're in the middle of a project and you decide, you know what? This song really should be a couple beats slower, faster, many beats slower, many beats faster, you can do it all. I believe in you and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. On screen, we have a deceivingly simple project, but it's gonna be a great example of what you need to do when you want to adapt the tempo of an existing project. As you can see, I have two audio tracks, so a guitar track and a bass track. Then I have four software instrument tracks. I have a drummer track, piano, soft clav, and a studio tambourine. The tempo is 135 beats per minute. Let's take a listen real quick to the riff and then we'll start to play with tempo. Here we go. Cool, a little riff that I have going on. Now let's assume that I'm, I'm happy with where things are going in this project. Let's assume the project is humongous. It's three quarters of the way done, but at this point, I'm kind of wondering, maybe the song should be a little slower or a little faster. You might think to yourself, well, hey, let's just go right up to the tempo here in the LCD. Click, hold, and then drag to adapt the tempo. So I'm reducing the tempo and some kind of weird stuff's going on, right? You can see the drummer track, the piano, the clav, the studio tambourine, they're all staying put. They're not doing anything weird. The drummer track will adapt its performance a little bit based on tempo. That's what drummer does. That's all well and good, but our audio is going a little crazy. Let's take a listen to what this sounds like. Yeah, that's not gonna work for anybody. And understandably so. I mean, how, how can you do anything with that? What is going on is that our SoCal kit, piano, soft clav, and studio tambourine, they're just following along with the tempo changes. That's how software instruments and MIDI rolls. MIDI is tied to the grid and whatever you set the tempo to, it just adapts. Our audio tracks, on the other hand, are staying at their recorded tempo. If I mute the guitar and bass, let's take a listen to the software instruments and how they're adjusting. Honestly, it's pretty fantastic that the software instruments and drummer are adapting. Doesn't matter if it's a drummer region or MIDI region or a pattern region, they just go with the flow. Audio on the other hand is a different beast. And essentially what you need to do is you need to turn flex on for every audio region in your project. Let me unmute my guitar and bass and let's do this. I'm gonna go right to the top of the tracks area to show the flex view. And next I'm gonna turn flex on for my guitar and for my bass. Do keep in mind that you may want to adapt the flex mode for different types of tracks. I'll keep my guitar as polyphonic. For my bass, I'll probably choose monophonic. And at this point, you just have to select each region in your project and set flex and follow to on. Because if we have, let's say two regions on a single track, you don't necessarily have to have flex on for each region. I've turned flex and follow off in the region inspector for this duplicate take folder, but the original take folder, flex and follow is set to on. Taking a look inside these take folders, you can see that transient markers have been detected across the different takes. And you can see that some craziness has happened right here inside this take folder. I guess I went through and I tightened up the timing, but you know, I'm gonna bring up my eraser tool and get rid of all of these flex markers because I wanna illustrate to you that you don't have to flex ahead of time. These guys can just be flex free. Let's adapt the tempo. Check it out. The second take folder that I duplicated is still going kind of crazy. Again, because I turned flex and follow off for that take folder and region, but the other two take folders, the guitar and bass are now staying put. Let's now take a listen to our project with the tempo going from 135 beats per minute to 100 beats per minute.
if we check out the other take here, and let me just hide flex view so I can select the other take. Great, this is exactly what we want. We want our project to adapt to the tempo. The steps simply are select every region in your project that you want to adapt and turn flex and follow from off to on. Looks like this take folder is finally catching up with what's going on. Obviously, this tempo difference is a little heavy handed. If we go back to 135 beats per minute and maybe bump it up a couple of BPM, There you have it. You just have to turn flex on for your audio tracks and then turn flex and follow on for every region that you want to automatically follow the tempo of the project. Couple of details to note. First, if you have any tracks that are Sempty locked, so if we set this back to 135 and lock the Sempty position, watch this. the region just starts going bananas. So keep that in mind that you definitely want to unlock Sempty position for any audio and MIDI that you want to change with the project's tempo. Keep in mind as well, if you import any audio into a project and maybe there's some tempo information embedded in that audio file, the region starts to go bananas and starts changing its tempo and its length in ways that you don't anticipate. All you have to do is select that region, go up to edit, down the tempo and remove tempo information. And now everything should work out. All right, so I hope today's video was helpful for you. And if it was, as always, please subscribe to Wide Logic Per Rules. Also, next week, I've got something brand new that I'm going to be releasing. I'm stoked because I've been working on this for several months and I'm finally at the point to announce it. So if you're interested, check out the description below. I will have links for you to sign up. If you're interested in hearing about this announcement, it is brand new and it has something to do with something we've been talking about the last couple of weeks. All right, thanks so much, and I'll see you for more next week. Take care.